Wow. What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. We're going to do a lot of things in the future, but right now let's just talk about what's actually happening with um, the banking industry. We talked about that. When the banks couldn't be trusted, they made prepaid cards. Now, you don't have to trust the bank. Put your money on a prepaid card. You only pay $2 a month. No cost to order. No credit checks. No minimum balance. Cash back rewards. You can direct deposit your paychecks on them. Make life simpler. Cut out a bank. You don't need them. Get your prepaid cards. Visa did it. Um, they start using celebrities. Russell Simmons, like, I'm coming out with mine. The currency exchange had the ice cards. Remember the ice cards? And this was the alternative. So that the banks can make some money to make you believe you don't have a bank account. You don't trust the banks with your money. You don't have to. Now, it used to be. I wanted to pay something, but they only take credit card. They don't take debit. I don't have a credit card and I don't have a bank account. What can I do? Put your money on a debit card. See, laundering money, they didn't care about it anymore. Once the banks crash, all bets were off. If you got money, they want it. They want you spending. The country needed it. So they're willing to let that laundering thing go. We, we don't care about that. We need your money. So we allow you to take your drug money, hustling money, or whatever you got that ain't tax paid, and apply it to a card. Just give us $2. <laughs> give us two ninety nine off every time you putting money on the card. Just give us that fee or every month. Give us $2 just to keep the card activated. Just do that for us. That's all we ask. Then when you do that, here's what we want you to do. Once that's done, well, you know what we want? We want you to spend. Now you can buy those concert tickets. Now you ain't got to call your friends and say, hey, can I use y'all credit card and I just give you the money? You can do it yourself. Spend that money. We need it. We don't ask no questions. Just come get your card. It's the other hustle. That was the hustle. And that's what people did. And you know what it did? It kept the economy rolling. And when it kept the economy rolling, what else did it do? It kept the economy winning. And when it kept the economy winning, what else did it do? It kept you going out to buy, buy, buy. Buying things. That's what it wants. So, they want to keep the wheel moving. And with the lack of jobs, the lack of opportunities, the only jobs you're going to have now is the ones you create. Unless you really research and get out there. So, yes, Visa made a lot of money with these prepaid cards. Then gift cards became the new thing. Then now, it was, instead of using this card for a discount, you'll get $50 off. $25 off. Gift cards. This is excellent. This helped Visa gain access and a stranglehold on a lot of people in the game. They came back in a very big way with the gift cards. Now you don't have to worry about what does little Johnny want or what does little Johnny like to get. 
You don't have to worry about that. You know why? Because little Johnny's going to get what little Johnny normally gets. You don't have to worry about what this person going to get or that person's going to get. You ain't got to worry about it no more. It's over. It's done. It's done and done. You know why it's done and done? Because it didn't need to be in the first place. They got this. They got the stranglehold. They got the, the reins back. Now. Now this is what they want. To buy and sell you. On their products. That's all they want. Get your shopping. So be careful not to fall into these traps, man. Anyway, this is Carcino, man. One Crack News. Want to say thank you again for tuning in. I'm out. And a resolution to this? Don't fall into pitfalls, brother. I'm out.